Hello students, good afternoon all of you. My name is Tejit sir. Today we are starting a new exercise. Okay, so students before we starting any new exercise. So let's see today's first of all code. So now let's check here the today's code. So what is today's code? Let's check here. So today's code is, is the beautiful things about what the beautiful things about a learning. Okay, which things about learning, beautiful things about learning, learning means daily we are studying, is that no one can take it away from you. It means what? We have uh, learned something day by day, day by day we learning something new thing. So no one means any person, no one person can take away from you, means us. Okay, nobody can take uh, without permission our learning. Okay, I hope you all are understood. Now let's check what we have done in previous lectures. So I hope you all are remember what we have done in previous lecture lectures. So students, I hope you all are remember. We have done in previous sessions. We have what we have done. We have done in previous sessions the revision of last lecture. Then after exercise number third F. What we have done all students. We, we, we have done a question number one first of all exercise number third F then after question number one question number one fill in the details fill in the details on the bar model to help you solve the question I hope you all are remember uh, uh, this question so fill in the blanks details on the bar model to help you solve the question we have done this question but again I'll repeat you today understood for as a part of the revision so now let's students let's check here okay today we are going to learn so students one thing keep it in mind you always what we are done uh, what we are going to learn today so today first of all do the revision what is a revision okay and which type of the revision so we do the revision of last lecture then new topic is building skill not a enough information what building skill okay here we are going to learn new topic building skills and not enough information so students in this topic i'll give you more introduction and details and then exercise number third g which exercise today we are going to learn students today we are going to learn exercise number three so now let's start here the first topic okay first of all we have done this topic in last sessions but again we are going to learn these things okay so so students here building skill not enough information okay so here which topic is new topic is name is what building skill not enough information information now now check it so some subtraction problem may not have uh, all the information you need to solve them it means what some subtraction problems it means some subtraction problems may not have uh, all the information because of uh, they not give a uh, full details or full information information okay i'll give you uh, i was give you one words about uh, information which were data okay so some Subtraction problems may not have all the data you need to solve them. So we cannot solve easily. We cannot solve easily. We cannot find out the answer easily because of we no have a we no have all the information we want. Okay, so Amrita's granny. She is Amrita and she is her granny. So Amrita's granny gave her 2000 sorry 200 rupees for Diwali. Amrita's granny gave her she is Amrita and her granny her give a 200 rupees for a Diwali. How many rupees a uh, give her 200 rupees. Amrita used some of it to buy a book what amrita used some of it to buy a book how much money was left with her what how uh, amrita used some some it to buy a book okay amrita's granny gave her 
200 rupees for Diwali and she used some uh, some it to buy a book and how much money was left with her so here one information to has what we have only one information which type of the information here um, she is granny granny gave her, her 200 rupees but and uh, she used a uh, she used in a book and how many she has left so here no details so it's called not enough information okay i hope you all are understood what is enough information okay here is example of in enough information so granny her granny gave her two 200 rupees for diwali and she used to buy a book and how much money was left to her good my point all students now let's check here the problem does not give us to the cost of the book okay here they told us what the problem does not give us the cost of the book but problem is what it does not have all the information we need to solve the problems okay because of we need to solve a question so we need a uh, all information but here is not any information okay here is not a full information so we cannot solve the problem and find answer to the question we cannot solve the problem and find to the answer got my point all, st all students got my points again i'll re repeat you all students what is a building skill and not enough information so some subtraction problems may not have all the information you need to solve them what some subtraction problem may not have all the information you need to solve them amrita's granny gave her 200 rupees for diwali and amrita used some of the some of it to buy a book some of it to buy a book it means what they don't clarify to us and how much money was left and they directly directly ask the question but because of they not give to a full information how many cost of book and how many price of a book and she use a at price this price okay so we cannot easily solve this problem because of here no information no enough information about the amritas spend a rupees how and where understood and now the problem does not give us the cost of the book here problem does not give us the cost of the book okay here is main problem is what not the cost of book what we have a decide here here we are de decide so what here are students we decide here we decide they give a cost of book so we can easily solve but it's not a problem okay we cannot solve easily the problem does not give us the cost of the book it does not have all the information okay it does not have what it does not have all the information we need to solve the problems so we cannot solve the problem and find the answer to the question got my point all students find the answer so we cannot solve the problems and find the answer to the question i hope you all are understood now students we move on exercise number third g and exercise number third g is on fully related on a uh, build the skill not enough information so exercise number third g now uh, what is the instructions of question number one so now let's check here exercise number third g and question number one what is the question number one let's check here the so question number one is what sum of the sub uh, subtraction so question number one is sum of the subtraction problem give a below may I have all the information you need to solve it it means what sum of the subtraction problems which type of the sub problems here they clar clarify to us here some of the subtraction problems give a below may have all the information okay may have all the information need to solve it and others may not write not enough information for the ones that do not have all the information you need and solve the rest okay it means what here students some of the subtraction pro problems and give may have all the information okay so students in some some example and some problem 
may have what information full information about problems and others may have not a enough information not a full information enough information so what to do write a not uh, so in in example in problems because of because of a not a full information so what we write that time we write that time not enough information for the ones do not have to all information you need and solve the rest got my point now what is the in instruction i hope you all are remember understood all students now so now students we started here solving the problem so now let's check here the problem number one and question number one so question number one is what let's check here question number one is a cartoon of 200 200 biscuit packet okay a one cartoon means cartoon of 200 biscuit packet means what a one box cartoon means here not a original cartoon okay here a cartoon of 200 biscuit biscuit has 100 packets of chocolate biscuit 125 packets of chocolate biscuit here a cartoon means a box of 200 biscuits biscuits packets has 125 packets of chocolate biscuit okay so students here a one box of biscuit and it has 125 packets of cho chocolate biscuit and the rest are jam biscuit okay so how many packets of jam biscuit biscuit does it have students first of all we understand here the question and then now then after we check this information all information is enough to us so let's check here a cartoon of 200 biscuits okay what is a box of 200 biscuits packet has a 125 of chocolate biscuits okay 200 into 125 is the chocolate biscuit and rest of them so 200 minus 125 so left our biscuit is all a jam biscuit so here all information okay here is not enough information but here is all full information so we can easily solve this question so question is what how many packets of jam biscuit does it have so now let's check here answer so answer number one is what answer number one is first of all we write the all things here the cartoon of 200 biscuit packets okay a cartoon of 200 biscuit packets and then after 125 packets of chocolate so biscuit packets are uh, 125 of chocolate biscuit so what we do here he here all students we do here 200 minus 125 so we should be fine here the we should be will find here what a biscuit of jam packet so sorry a jam biscuit packet okay so 200 minus 125 so 0 minus 5 0 minus 5 we can take out from 0 to 5 yes or no no we cannot take out from 0 to 5 so we can we take the borrow that time so i am taking here borrow 10 plus 0 so 10 10 plus this 5 so 10 minus 5 is, is equal to how many all students 5 10 minus 5 is equal to how many 5 10 we cut the further digit and put the 9 because of here 0 that's why i am putting a 9 9 minus 2 9 minus 2 how many all, st all students do with your finger 9 minus 2 is equal to 7 how many all students 9 minus 2 is equal to 7 then again i'll cut the further digit and put the small digit to cut and put the small digit 1 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so answer is what 75 answer is what all students 75 so 75 jump districts are left Got my points how many biscuits are left there 75 jam biscuits are left total box of cartoon a uh, box of 200 biscuits packets and 125 packets of chocolate biscuit and 75 of jam biscuit got my point all students now let's a uh, question number b so question number b is what let's check here so question number b is what all students Question number B is Pritam's mother baked 656 butter biscuit. Okay, what Pritam's mother? Okay, Pritam's mother baked. Baked means what? Already baked. So, 
सिक्स हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स बटर बिस्किट एंड सम काजू बिस्किट्स फॉर द स्कूल फेट है सो हाउ मेनी मोर बटर बिस्किट दैन अ काजू बिस्किट डिड द बैक बैक है सो हियर लेट चेक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी अंडरस्टैंड एंड एंड देन आफ्टर वी चेक हियर ऑल इन्फॉर्मेशन इज अ इनफ और नॉट सो लेट चेक हियर प्रीतम्स मदर बैकेट सिक्स हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स बटर बिस्किट एंड सम काजू बिस्किट सो हियर सम डोंट क्लेरिफाई नॉट अ क्लेरिफाई सो फॉर द बिस्किट फॉर द स्कूल फेट हाउ मेनी मोर बटर बिस्किट एंड काजू बिस्किट डिट द बैक है सो हियर वी डोंट नो हाउ मेनी सम मीन्स हाउ मेनी सो हियर वी कैन नॉट सॉल्व दिस सम हियर इज नॉट इन फुल इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द अबाउट द हाउ मेनी काजू बिस्किट सो नाव लेट्स चेक हियर द वॉट आंसर सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स चेक हियर द आंसर हाउ कैन वी राइट आंसर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी राइट द प्रीतम्स मदर ओके स्टूडेंट्स इट्स लाइक दैट बिकॉज ऑफ वी नो हैव अट ऑल इन्फॉर्मेशन द वट टू डू दैट टाइम वी डू दैट टाइम वी राइट ऑल डिटेल्स बट हियर वट टू डू दैट टाइम दैट टाइम वी डू नॉट राइट अ सम ओनली ओके बट वी राइट दैट टाइम ऑल इन्फॉर्मेशन और डिटेल्स गोट माई पॉइंट ऑल ऑल स्टूडेंट्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी राइट द डिटेल्स प्रीतम्स मदर बैक एट सिक्स हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स सिक्स हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स बटर बिस्किट What Pritam's mother baked six hundred fifty-six butter biscuit. Okay, so then okay, no information about the kasu nuts, kasu biscuit. Okay, no information about kasu biscuit. Understood my points, all students. Here is no information about the kasu biscuit, and here some kasu biscuit means what? So we cannot solve it. Here not a clarify any number or digit. Here they write only sums, so we cannot solve it sum. So what we should uh, that all we should that time that do not have all information. You need to solve the rest and and what we write not enough information for the ones that do not have to all information. So we write as like that not enough information. Not enough information is our. Answer because of here is not a information any no, full not information that's why we cannot solve this sum. Got my point, all all students. Now we move on question number C. What is the question number C? So let's check here. So let's check here. Okay, one in one year, one leap year. There were a 197 school days. Okay, in one leap year. There were 197 school days. How many school days? 197. And how many does there were holidays? Okay. So students, here I think you are confusion in sum because of here only one information. Which type of the information? 197 school days. But how many years and how many days? Okay. We don't know. But and question is what they ask? How many days there were holidays? They gives only the school days, but we have to find here what a holiday about holiday all holy holiday. So here not enough information. No, here all information. So what to do? So first of all, understand the question. In one year, one leap year. Anybody can tell me what is a one? Okay, anybody. You all know what is a leap year. I hope you all remember. Otherwise, you may be don't know what is a leap year. So I'll tell you. I'm telling you here, leap year. Okay, okay. Simply, you know, all students, in one year, how many days come? In one year, approximate, but as a fix of 365. How many? 365 days in a one year. So here leap year means how many days that uh, in in this year? So one day is more. Okay. So in leap year one hundred uh, sorry three hundred sixty six days to called leap year. What and um, what all students in in three hundred sixty six year is equal to one leap year. Okay, students and one leap year where. 
where it's come so after four years okay every after every four years okay every four years and then come a one leap year okay after a four years one leap year also and leap month is coming so leap month leap leap year means what here 366 okay so we have got this information and then a school days how many school days 197 so we can easily find the how many holidays so now let's check here the answer so here students answer number third or question oh, answer number c so so as per i wrote here what 365 days in one year how many days in one year all students in one year 365 days in one year 365 years got my point all students one year 365 days uh, and one leap year 366 days only day a uh, different be between one day okay in leap year one day is more coming and one year only 365 days are come so as as we know how many strands and how many days of year one one leap year so we can easily solve this question so school day is 197 so 366 is what a uh, one leap year one leap year minus school days so we can easily find we can easily find uh, how many days of holidays so we write the first detail about the one leap year 366 minus 190 7 6 minus 7 is how many 6 minus 7 6 minus 7 is equal to what 6 minus 7 is equal to what 9 no we cannot take out from 6 to 7 6 is a small and 7 is a big number that time we do what we do that time we do take the borrow 10 plus the 6 10 plus the 6 16 minus 7 16 minus 7 is how many students 16 minus 7 is equal to 9 then we cut the further digit and put the small digit here 6 and I'll cut I'll put the small digit 5 5 minus 6 is this possible sorry 5 minus this 9 possible no so that time what to do take the borrow again so 10 plus 5 15 15 minus 9 how many 15 minus 9 15 minus 9 so how many old students 6 15 minus 9 is equal to 6 and then again I'll cut the further digit 3 cut and put the small digit 2 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is equal to how many 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so answer is what 169 days of holiday so there were 169 days of holiday how many days of the holiday there were 169 holidays and 197 school day so how can we check the answer as we have cross check the answer because of we have a don't believe in ourselves so what to do but we must must believe in our self so here 169 and then plus 197 so answer is what made 360 sets understood got my point all st all, all students now let's move on question number four what is the question number four here let's check here the question number four here the question number four is what nandita read the 138 page of her storybook what nandita read the 138 page of her storybook okay she is she is read the 138 page of her storybook how many pages that she yet have to read to complete the book it means what how many pages are left to she uh, she have to read to complete the book but because of here students we don't know about the how many pages of story books so how can we find we cannot easily find the so what to do that time that time what to do uh, that time we write not enough information okay so here students Let's check again the question. Nandita read 138 pages of her storybook and how many pages does she yet have to read to complete the complete the book? Okay, here only information about the how many pages she read. She read. 
okay but we don't know how many pages of story book so here is not a full information so that's why what we call that's why we called here is not information and then how can we write the answer so we write answer as like that so first of all we write the details all things here nandita's read 138 pages of her story book so students and not information about the how many pages of book here they not clarify to us what we don't know the how books of page okay we don't know how many books of page so that's why what we happen we cannot solve this sum we cannot solve it all problems so total pages of story book don't give us to the page so how can we write the answer we can write as like that we should be write as like that no enough information only what should be write that time that time we write not enough information what all st all students not enough information got my point all students now last okay so now check it Ash ashul's family brought a 198 packets of milk in the month of january so ashul's family br brought 198 packets of milk in the month of january and february how many packets did his family buy in february alone okay so here read the question again i am reading here the question ashul's family brought 198 packets of milk how many packet they uh, they brought 198 packets of milk in the month of january and february okay in first month and second month they brought 198 packets of milk okay ashul's family in the month of january and february they brought what they brought 198 packets of milk and a february how many packets okay february january and Fe february both months they brought a 198 and how and question is what how many packets did a family buy in a february alone here is both information about a uh, first and second month january and february both month here 198 packets they brought in both month but here they wants a digit of about the february alone okay february alone but here we don't have enough information so how many brought so they how many brought a how many brought how many packets of brought brought a packets of milk in the month of february we don't know we have not enough information so that time what to do that time we write a not enough information so here students we write as like that ansul's family brought 198 packets of milk in february what ansul's family brought 198 packets of milk in the month of january and february so what we do no information about the how many packets brought in february month here which type of the problem here we don't know information about the how many packets they brought in a february month okay so that's why we no have here enough information on the all, all all students now so so what we write at the part of the answer what we read uh, what we have right a part a part of and and part and movement understood so we write uh, as answer or end part of the question not enough information what we should be write that time we should be write that time here is not enough information so we cannot easily solve this so got my point all students that's why we cannot easily solve this problem okay so we do we write as like that not here information if you have any doubt so you can tell me on our, our revision session okay i hope you all are understood now students listen more things you have to write this exercise in your fair book what you have 
to write this exercise in your fair book one time and your rough book also one time okay i hope you all are understood so students thank you so much all of you thank you so much and stay safe stay home stay safe or stay at your home got my point all students thank you